So I feel like I should uh, talk about my experiences with hydrocephalus uh, in in middle school. Uh, this was back uh, when I enjoyed the sweet, sweet freedom of being a normal kid. Uh, middle school was was uh, my roaming ground, my hunting ground. I could be whatever, but just in middle school, not at home, mind you. Uh, at middle school, I went to. Ooh, I don't think I should say where I went to school. Um, not middle school, junior high. Middle school is a whole nother thing. Junior high school. Uh, when I went to junior high school, as if it makes a difference, uh, I enjoyed the freedom of, you know, getting off my wheelchair, uh, horse playing with, with, with my fellow students. Um, and sometimes suffered great disappointments. For example, um, it was, uh, one of my, uh, closest friends, um, birthday in, in a couple days, right? Uh, and I was excited. I was invited. We were going to go see Tran uh, Transformers. I think it might have been Transformers or, or might have been another movie. But um, I was excited. Um, not only was I going to get to see my childhood uh, on the big screen, but also hang out with my with with my friends um unfortunately i um my uh shunt my c s f shunt um started misbehaving and and I had to be rushed to the hospital now here's the thing before uh, it started acting up. It was a normal day. I went to school, got breakfast, uh, uh, went to class, studied, um, stayed in because I pretended to be sick, and I couldn't be at a uh, at uh, a PE class. So I took one of my friends, and we went to the uh, computer room. And there we horse uh, horse played a little bit. He might have gotten in trouble because 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 um, we pre uh, horse played a little too hard. And um, uh, one of my the teacher that was in charge of the computer room, uh, he uh, he came by and noticed. So we had to go uh, or face some kind of retribution for for being kids uh, anyway that that went by we had lunch we had some more classes together um i think at that point we only we had two classes in which we were not together but that's besides the point oh this is uh the friend that i'm talking about uh, that i horse played with this is a whole different guy. Um, he was a little meaner. Um, I wanted to make up a name for him, but I can't right now. Uh, but anyway, the birthday boy, um, he invited me to to the movies. Uh, the next day, which was a Saturday, uh, I was excited again. So I ate dinner. I went to sleep. And here's where, where things take a turn. I wake up in the hospital. 48 hours later. With uh, 
six or seven people calling my name. My mom frantically calling out my name to wake up. And this tube down my throat uh, stuck to a machine going... I'm assuming everything went to poop uh, while I was de- while I was unconscious, um, and honestly, when I woke up, I was freaked out. I I couldn't uh, see anything else but the light that was right in my face, um, and I couldn't hear anything else but Reagan. Reagan, are you awake, Reagan? Reagan, you need to wake up. Uh, what, 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 what? <laughs> and not only that, but I also had uh, a scar right there. I don't know if it shows. Probably not. No. Okay. Well, I have a scar right there and one um like a couple inches above my belly button, like right in the middle of my my belly, uh where the shunt the tube uh broke into pieces. So they had to cut me there, there, um and in my stomach. So, I guess it was pretty bad. Um, here's the thing, this would have been any other time that I had gone to the hospital, but not only did I miss my friend's birthday, um, not because of the movie, forget the movie, I just wanted to hang out with my friend on a Saturday, other than the weekend. And not only that, um, (laughs) the way I woke up was really intense. I, let's just call it sensory overload, overload, overlord, sensory overload, in which, the adrenaline pumped and and it actually took me a half an hour before before everything calmed down and I was able to tell the doctors my name. Um And not only that, it uh, it left a few uh, em- um, emotional scars too. Um, you see, because of that, I am now afraid to uh, sleep. I don't sleep unless I am actually super tired and the last thing that I hear is my parents finally waking up to go to work. So if you see right there, no. uh, years of uh, years of sleep deprivation or miss, I don't know what you call it, but I don't like to sleep uh, uh, um, that's, I'm not afraid of many things, in fact, I'm not afraid of anything but falling asleep, because that could happen again, this got really real, Um,
I'm Reagan Von Limos, and, um, thank you for letting me get real with you. You know what? I think we deserve an awkward hug. You and me. Come here.